can I just begin with wow? Like I am so overwhelmed by the messages and the comments and the shares and the views and the likes that I am receiving from the last video I did about racism as a mental disease. I'm I'm still like taking it all in. Apparently it went viral, whatever that is. <laughs> um, it just shows that people are looking for, I would say confirmation, things that you've been thinking about, things that you've been wanting to say. And it also means that the great awakening is here, y'all. Like we in it. And for me, that brings so much joy. And I just wanna say thank you for the new subscribers. I, I think I got over, I don't know, 2,000 su subscribers within like three days. And I'm still, people are still sharing. So thank you so much because trust me, I was resistant in posting that video. Like I had to go to my tribe, you know, I went to two of them, two of them that are lioness and are just about this life. And um, they were like, if you don't post that shit, and I'm like, all right, they don't say no more. <laughs> and sometimes you need your sisters and your brothers who are riding on that same frequency uh, to encourage some of the harder waters to tread. And I know that it's a sensitive subject, but I have never been a person that backs down from the hard truths of what's going on. But I will say I am expressing them more publicly. You know, I'm just talking and I'm teaching. If you have work with me, we have these conversations all the time. But now I feel more moved to just say it out loud, proud, and in full expression of my God. Because that is just who I am, you know. And I come from the heart. I come from experience. And I know that there are others out there that are in their journeys, man. And they're just looking at what's going on. And they're like, there has got to be another way to be treading in these waters, to be navigating this shit. And there is. So with that said... I wanted to just continue to to talk about different things. And if you are just coming into my space, you know, my world, please check out my other posts and um, check out my YouTube channel, Living My Yacht. This will probably go past 15 minutes. So I probably will be uploading this on my YouTube channel. So please check that out because I really would like to do some live uh, sessions on there. But uh, <clears throat> be mindful of this movement that is taking place. And you know what movement I'm talking about, this hashtag movement. Be very mindful about what moves you in this movement. Especially now since media is all up in this movement. <laughs> It's all about using your residence. If it don't feel right, it just don't feel right, y'all. And when I talk about the lion and being the lion, I'm talking about your heart, the lion's heart. And shamanic principles, when you go through a shamanic journey, a hero's journey, there is this lion's heart that you tap into you activate and you realize that your narrative that you've been living from is not yours and so in order to conquer if you will the lands of who you are you have to go to war 
inside of yourself. So this movement, and this is, again, an alternative perspective, y'all, and how I see it. And also, I was a part of this movement where it be, when it began, and I'll talk about that. But this movement is part of a bigger agenda that we can't see yet. Especially since media is in play. Media is in play now. We have celebrities now going all in. Anytime when they step in, I'm like, mm, let me, let me, let me go ahead and do some little research on what's happening. And see, my research is not so much looking at things on the outside. I meditate, I go in and research what's going on in the inside when I see things. And if it don't sit right, it just don't sit right. Bottom line. And when you are moved from emotion, because that's what they love to do. They love to move people from their emotional lands, which is your lower chakras, just so you know. This is where you keep the lower, I mean, where you keep the emotions at. All up in these lower lands, okay? you got memories that are stored here, not only on this life, but also the past life. This is understanding the energetic body that you really are. And they know this shit. They know what Kundalini is. They know the power of Kundalini. Okay. So when you are moved in that way by a agenda outside of yourself, all you're doing is being put into another box. Again, this is how they move the sheep. They just continue to create boxes and people continue to move. Hypnotized. Plugged into a whole narrative, a whole nother program. And I have seen it in a couple of my comments. The new program. I'm like, woo, they didn't, they went all in. This one got a little bit of intellect. This one talk about ancestors and shadow work. Right, And it's because they heard it from this movement. But really, we've been in shadow work, boo. We've been working on ancestral trauma, boo. We've been, we've been doing this. This ain't nothing new. So this is what happens when you get caught out there. You get caught into a program. Okay? So you're being put in another box. And then now within this box, they're even going to divide you even more. Now you got this, I don't know what's going on with this reposting of I'm a black woman, I'm a black man. But now you got that going on. And now you got other posts that are fighting against that post around. Can we not do this? Can we not get them to separate us? Because that's what's happening. Why? Let's go back to the formula. And it's because you are still allowing outside dictators to control your world. That is the problem. So now it's about moving into solution. And I remember when this whole Black Lives Matter uh, movement came into creation and that was when it first came out a few years ago and I was already treading you know the shadows the ancestor traumas I was already in it so when it came about I wasn't moved I'm like mm, I'm, I'm not sure about this this again this don't sit right in my heart anything that shocks my heart it's like you're trying to shock me out of my world oh, no time out let's pause so i made right with this energy again i'm not 
saying that the intentions were not good. But I'm not going to let nobody dictate this, boo. However, I got caught out there. I slipped. I relapsed, if you will. And I started to find myself hashtagging Black Lives Matter. And I was so conscious about that hashtag as I was hashtagging it. It's like my higher self was like, what are you doing? And then, again, when you understand how this works, you understand where these narratives come from. And the narrative was like, well, you know, I want to make sure that people know that I'm with them. Why? This is what the higher conscious said. Why? You're doing the work. And then I had to sit back and say, I am. I'm doing all types of internal work. And then that just snapped me out of it and I just stopped. <laughs> and in any time when I think of the word black, I think of the word white. And then you go into slavery. It's a narrative. It's a program. It's a polluted ass program. Now you're all revved up. Now you're all triggered and you lose yourself in the narrative. And I'm nobody's slave. And my ancestors are free. They out here with me eating mangoes, sitting on a mountaintop, going to the beach, jumping in waterfalls. My ancestors are happy as hell. And it's because I freed myself. That is how you heal ancestral trauma. You have to free yourself in order to break the generational quote unquote curses. I can even see it in my family and how they're functioning in these times. And I don't have to tell them because it don't matter. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's doing the work or has done the work, right? Don't matter. See, that's when you know you are coming within and you don't need the media. You don't need the cameras. You don't need outside people to support you because you realize all the support is inside of yourself. So is there something wrong with protesting? I'm not going to say that it's right or wrong. I'm just saying be mindful of the movement and how they are moving you. They continue to play chess while you sitting back playing checkers. <laughs> you know? Be mindful of how you are moving in this. Use your resonance. They are continuously taking you outside of yourself. And what happened to coronavirus? I mean, that just, that just went away. Ha! Getting what I'm saying? Soon as that died down, oh, let's add this. This is the game. This is the game. And so when I hear, you know, this program, you know, we are, um, you know, they need us. I just sit back and I'm like, okay, because they don't need you. This system, the matrix, if you will, is shutting down. It is shutting down and a new program is online. That doesn't involve your currency. What is your currency? It's your energy. It's your, your energy is your currency. So like I said, anytime you put something out there, you get back. Isn't that called law of, law of attraction? We all heard that before, right? I mean, now you could go deeper into that philosophy, but we create this shit. We are co-creators. Bottom line. So guess what? They don't need your currency no more. So what you going to do? 
my dear souls, what are you going to do if you are still in this, you know, emotional reaction stage of your journey and you're just flowing into these boxes like underneath a trance? What are you going to do when this is done? Because just like the corona, this is going to be done too. And best believe, people are going to be under the hypnosis of a trauma. And you'll recognize that when they speak, when they make comments. It's a, you, you, there's a frequency that doesn't lie. Tones and sounds don't lie. Okay? This is where you have to use your resonance. And nobody should be leading you. Like I said in the last video, I'm not here to fix you. You fix yourself. I am a teacher. One of my callings is to teach. But the only being that I'm responsible for is Tahira. And what's going on in her world. So anything that I say that may trigger you or you disagree with that's not my responsibility <laughs> again you didn't pass the test because you are still looking for outside leaders to dictate your thoughts your emotions this is where you have to grow up this is where reparenting comes this is where inner child healing comes in this is where you begin to respect what that teacher is saying and instead of taking it personal you're like all right some of the baddest teachers i used to listen to were some of the most rawest uncut organic beans and i respected that shit because i realized that's not about me that I, I get it like I'm, i get it but that they are expressing their authentic truth and that is love right there you see love is your authentic truth because it's coming from soul consciousness or god consciousness whatever you want to call it. How do you express your truth if you are all programmed up and you are still functioning from the lower lands? When you are blocked in the lower lands, they have control in your upper lands, which is your heart and your throat. This is the box you need to be worried about, okay? Get back to this truth right here and speak it and express it. Let them know you ain't the one. This is truly coming into the lion, the lioness, you know, the God, the goddess, you know, whatever. You know, whatever identity you want to call yourself that day. <laughs> Identities don't matter. But when you realize you are nothing and everything at the same time, this is where great change happens. And we all have to go through these stages, right? But there's activators along the way that remind you all the self. But to allow them to lead you, that's something completely different. You didn't pass the test. So now you're in this box again. You're in this program again. You're in this uh, low vibrational narrative again. Loop it. And there is a time where you just got to accept that. <laughs> and I think about Lauren Hill... And uh, 
you know, that second album she came out with when everybody thought she was going crazy. And I was like, yo, like she's, she's, no, nah, something, something clicked in her head and she's trying to tell us something. And I would literally have that album on repeat because I could feel where she was coming from. I'm like, she broke out of all the boxes. She has exited the matrix. All right. And she has a song called Get Out. Get out all the boxes. <laughs> she has a song. And of course, it's an emotional process. When you're coming through the birth canal and you're conscious in it, you're like, oh, shit, oh. It's emotional. It's beautiful. It's a dismantlement. You got all these feelings going through you. And when you come through the birth canal, you come in by yourself. So you're like, oh my, oh my gosh. What is, what is going on? You're coming through that darkness. So it's a true rebirthing that takes place. So does it look like you have gone crazy? Yes. To the sheep. To the sheep. Or to the beings that know what's happening. They want to portray you as going crazy. But no. You're coming back home to self. And you realize you won the war. You realize you won the war. But yes. It's a emotional process. Absolutely confirmation so she was still finding herself back but going through the emotions and that's what makes that album to me one of the greatest of all times so it's about honoring your journey from the heart by expressing your truth the more you do that, the more the universe is going to just say, you got it. You got it. Abundance flowing everywhere. I call, I call my life luxury. I'm, I'm living in luxury, honey. And for me, that's being surrounded by nature. Financial sovereignty. Food sovereignty, right? like I would say 80 80 percent move this these are real solutions real solutions understanding your map so nobody else could come in and say you missed something oh hold on I didn't miss nothing boo because you don't own me I am nobody's slave and you are not my leader so Thanks, but no thanks. Anytime when somebody forces their opinion on you, program. But if you came here and you were brought here for some type of energetic reason due to algorithm and you're listening, then that's, that's your choice, right? But be mindful of what moves you. Be mindful of what resonates with you and honor it. Honor it. Be okay with not being popular. <laughs> That's only the beginning. Because what you're going to find out, you're going to attract like-minded beings that function and vibrate the same way and now you have really created a tribe or you have i would say it's more like a reunion that's how i've been feeling it's more like a reunion of these beings that are a part of that frequency and now you can co-create in each other's worlds mm. and that's true solution that's when you come into the conscious collective solution. 
But it starts with self. It starts with self. So that's what I have for you. And uh, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.